Yo, what is happening traders? It's your boy Vega here, back with another video. Today, we are going to be looking at the three most profitable time periods to find zones to trade from. The time and volume are a trader's best friend if you know what to look for. High volume price action does occur at regular time intervals every single day and this is universal across the board from forex to stocks to indices. They are all going to behave very similarly at specific times of the day and when we say react or behave um, similarly they are going to perform larger price movements price action is going to be a lot more efficient so you're going to get much cleaner supply and demand zone retests and imbalance mitigation stop losses actually get a level of protection just because the market is much less likely to sweep high volume price points that are created during these time periods now, all the time slots that I'm about to cover are hours following um, session openings. So there are going to be one or two sessions at least that you should be able to trade um, depending on where you are living on the world. But just make sure that you do obviously convert the time slots that I'm about to give you into your time zone just so you are trading the correct time period. Now, starting off with a session opening that many of you may not have actually heard of, which is called the Frankfurt Open. Now, this actually occurs one hour before the London Open. And it's when a lot of European banks actually start trading and it's why you actually get a spike in volume and large price movements that occur slightly before the London Open. Many traders will actually have their trading strategies completely based on the London Open. But if they did actually start looking for trade setups one hour earlier, they would actually find that they would actually get involved in a lot more opportunities. The next time period you should be looking at for your zones is the London Open or the hour following the London Open. It is argued to be the most profitable time to trade in finance, particularly in Forex where it does account for over 40% of daily total transactions. Now it is my personal favorite just because most of my profitable trades do come from this time period. It's also when I wake up so I can go straight on the charts uh, with a cup of coffee and you will find that it does cause very efficient price actions. So the market will imbalance and rebalance itself, which is what allows us to get into our supply and demand retests easily you will find that most rallies and crashes in the market do actually originate from this one time period last but not least we have the new york open and i will say that it is very similar to the london open they both have massive volume the new york open actually overlaps with the european session so you actually have um, the largest banks from multiple time zones trading combined which does create large market movements you do actually get some London Open trades that will actually start moving during the US Open. You will find sometimes the US Open will actually cause a trade to reverse if you got in during the London period. But I have had my most profitable trades in the hour surrounding the New York Open just because the combined volume with the London or European banks and the US banks does create massive movements. Here are some trades that I actually took recently around the New York Open. Well, now I do split my risk. I do take some of my position by here. I do also take some of my position on the 0.66 line by here. We did actually notice that we had this up move followed by this down move. We are looking at the premium and discount of this swing range as well, uh, which I will go into in another, in another video. Um, I didn't actually get tagged into one of my positions on this. Uh, but I did on my second position. You can see that this formed up just before the London Open. So we get this volume spike downwards, which is what um, indicated for me to get into the trade. We then also get this other spike down as well after the New York Open. And you could have also got in by here and you would have been tagged in deeper into the block if you did place an order uh, within that region. Some of my students did. I also did get it into similar trade on the dollar swiss francs we had this down move we were at a discount of this swing range which like i said i will go through in another video um bullish imbalance we had a retest we did actually come deep into this zone so i did actually get in on both my positions both here and here um, and again you could have got in on this zone that formed after the new york open as well some of my students got into that uh here on screen are the profits just to prove that i'm not lying if you do want to learn more about how I trade, make sure to subscribe and follow me on my socials where I do upload to daily. And if you are looking for a more structured approach to learning, you can find access to my mentorship through my website, link below. But hope you all have a lovely trading week. I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.